right. Um, hi, everybody. Thanks for watching me eat. Um, my name is Jason. If, you, uh, if you're interested in listening to me say ridiculous things on the internet, this is my Twitter page. You can follow me at uh, Jay Langstar. Um, today, I'm going to do a super fast presentation. We're going to maybe spend about five minutes on this. Uh, I want to talk about something that's coming in the next version of Gatsby, which we're hoping to get into beta, hopefully uh, in the next few weeks, but don't hold me to that. Um, we're going to talk about something called static query, and we're using it in the context of a site that uh, I'll pull up the source for in a second. It's, uh, it's up on GitHub now, so if you want to look at the whole site, you can do that, because uh, V2 is, in fact, stable enough to build with. It's just a little bit in flux, so we're not comfortable calling it a beta yet. And the particular feature that I'm excited about is a static query. So who here has, uh, has built something with Gatsby before? A few hands. Um, so one of the problems that you run into with Gatsby is that Gatsby only lets you run GraphQL calls at the root of a page. And that becomes challenging when you need it for something like a header image. So for example, uh, this site, on this site, we've got this image here. Uh, this is uh, Marissa, this is my partner. We're building her a new website. And in this website, I need to load this image. And in order to get the great features of Gatsby, which it's loading too fast for me to even show you how this works. Let me uh, throttle the network here. So in order to get access, come on, 3G. You can't get like the Goldilocks zone. It's either way too fast or way too slow. Um, so in order to get access to the image handling, God, I broke it. Uh, what it's supposed to do so, is load up a trace SVG image of that. And the way that that works is uh, in our GraphQL, we create a base64 kind of traced mm -hmm. SVG image. Um, and that stays in place until the image is able to lazy load. And it looks really nice. And of course, it's not working when I need somebody to be able to look at it. Um, it's not going to work. Okay. Um, but so anyway, so the way that you would have to do that traditionally is you would end up on your, your page making a GraphQL query, and that GraphQL query would load up that header image. And then in your layout, you'd have to pass that down as like image an image prop. So that goes into the layout. In your layout, you would then have to take that image prop and pass it into your header. And then in your header, you have to take that image prop and drop it into this actual image component. That's not bad. You know, it's not. It's very clear where things are coming from. But it's also a huge pain in the ass. So we wanted to make that easier to do. So in Gatsby v2, you end up with uh, what's called static query. So static query is just exported from the Gatsby package. It's a named export, so you can export it like so. Um, and here we've got some uh, style components. We're going to not talk about that today. But here, you've got your static query, and you can just define a query. And so this is much clearer about what's going on. Here we're saying, in this component, I want to statically query for the image that matches Marissa's, that's the name of the image, is Marissa-Morby. We want to grab the sizes. We need it to be 138 pixels wide. We're going to use the traced SVG, which I'll figure out why that's not working later. And then we execute that query and pass it to a render prop. Um, who's super excited about render props? No, uh, there's a couple of hands. OK, I, I know who the nerds are. Um, so once you get this render prop, this is the data that came in from our GraphQL query. And that means that we're then able to use it directly. So we have our query image sizes, so data image sizes. We just use it exactly where we query for it. This is much, much easier to understand than making the query in a page and passing it down through five components to get it where we need it. Um, it makes it much more declarative and much easier to read. So that's, uh, that's one of the features that I'm most excited about. One limitation to this, just uh, to make sure that everyone's aware going into it, you can only do static queries, which is why it's got that name. You don't get variables. Um, you'll notice I can't do like, you know, uh, image equals like slug or something like that, where it would vary based on the page. 
If you need something like that, you still need to do the query at the page level. Everything else though, if you know exactly what you're grabbing, like a header image that's not gonna change from page to page, you can make this query, load that image, and get those benefits without having to do any prop drilling or, or passing data around through a bunch of different places. Um, and that gives you this benefit of being able to load this image um, and it works across all the pages. And you're able to do that without super confusing data. And that's uh, that static query. Thanks everybody for listening. Thank <laughs> you.